Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, this is me, your boy, La Prima La Prama La Paca, for other one and the El Show, El Showington. This is another day one cop review for Yakuza Like a Dragon. First, I want to say thank you to Sega Studios and RGG Studios for providing us with um, an early copy. Again, thank you to obviously Naysaga um, for obviously being the connection between the two of us and getting this all sorted for us. This has been an, an amazing experience. Like, that's it off the bat. I'm, gonna get, I'm just going to tell you that now that I've enjoyed my time with this. So obviously, like I said previously, the day one cop series is us getting hands on and playing less than a day of the game and giving you our initial thoughts and reviews. And but letting you know whether it's a day one cop, it's a mm, maybe a cell kind of cop, or it's like, uh, like cut it out, it's a pants cop, you know what I mean? So yeah, I'm gonna jump straight into the review and uh, get straight into it. So, this plot revolves around Ichiban, the best Kasuga, a low rank Yakuza grunt left on the brink of death by a man he trusted the most. Yes, by a man he trusts the most. Uh, he ends up doing some time in prison and is released. And upon being released, he finds out that Japan has completely changed. As in, like, some smartphones are the thing. Uh, people are, like, you know, wearing masks. Like, Japan brrr, changed from what it was. So, betrayed by the man that he trusted the most and ends up at rock bottom, needs to work his way out back to the top. So that is the, like, the very minor, like, plot summary I'm going to give you, or overall plot summary that I'm going to give you without spoiling it too much. Which will nicely segue me into story and the VA. The story is amazing. The story is amazing. The world burn that they do, um, and that's kind of like the, that they use within the prologue chapters. So that's chapters like one through to three to kind of set you up and engage in the story long term. Um, is amazing. They do well to introduce you into Ichiban's personality and how almost like un Yakuza like he is. He seems like a Yakuza character with morals. But Ichiban is an amazing lead character and an absolutely wonderful protagonist, a breath of fresh air. Um, the voice actor for him, amazing, great. But also there's a serious tone that kind of goes through the game that is um, equally comedic and has hilarity kind of matched with it too. And I feel like you see that through each man's personality, the various character interactions, even the characters that you end up fighting throughout the game. There's a, there's a very steep, almost comedic sense that they want to put in there. And they use it to kind of like take the edge off a lot of the serious tones going on throughout the game. And um, they do well, like they do well to both of them together. And it doesn't feel awkward or out of place. It feels quite normal. Um, this obviously supported by um, amazing voice acting in both Japanese and English dubs is wonderful. Absolutely wonderful, like a breath of fresh air. I feel like when you watch a great anime with great dub, that's what this game is. It's like a great anime with great English dub. Like, amazing, that's wonderful right there. I want to see some more. So it does well there. Uh, graphically, uh, this game is immense like it's fucking ridiculous scaled and built for obviously the ps4 pro and because i'm playing the ps4 model right now um it runs absolutely smooth on a gen 1 ps4 and that's my dear Kyrie, my beloved even though my ps4 sounds like a jet engine the game renders runs absolutely smoothly character textures are almost lifelike even down to the nails i mean and i mean like nails are a big thing for me but they do well to give characters nail beds and I feel like sometimes they lose that like sometimes you get characters with just fingers and it's just like loads of blocks like this, this is man it's a five fingered person they've just got like three fingers do you know what I mean but Yakuza does well to add textures where things don't necessarily seem like they need to be textured especially in the nails nail beds nail shape do you know what I mean they've, they've added texture there um, but overall kind of like the whole of Japan looks beautiful obviously the game takes place in Yokohama and I mean, I've not been to Japan, but it feels very surreal. It feels very like it captures like parts of the of the of the city, different pockets, different cultures, different like clashes, um, different dress styles. Really well, I feel like the it feels like a very realistic Japanese city. But let's go on to gameplay, and that's kind of like the biggest thing for me. I feel like games can look good, they can story could be great, audio could be great, voice acting can be great. But am I really enjoying the game? Is the gameplay 
amazing. It's a gameplay of what I want it to be, because that's where I'm going to spend my money. Do you know what I mean? That's where I spend most of my time. For those of you that haven't played a previous Rack as a game, it's an action-based RPG where you go around fighting multiple characters, your characters level up, different character stances, um, obviously take on the Yakuza in various instances, use weapons, pick up weapons, interact with your environment, that sort of RPG. Um, and the fact that it's an action RPG where a lot of um, elements come into play, countering, parrying, it's a, it's a different type of RPG. But this time around, they take it back to your traditional RPG roots. When I mean your traditional RPG roots, they take it back down to a turn-based RPG. Similar to Final Fantasy X, you end up in a situation where how does this work within the game? But they do well to explain it and justify it, and that's basically carried by Ichiban's personality. Ichiban is a massive Dragon Quest fan, so he sees the world almost in a game-like state. And that makes it, 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 it justifies it. It justifies it being a turn-based RPG, you know, from being traditional action-based role-playing, like moving and round as you're fighting RPG, they say, you know what, we're gonna take away that whole element and let's make it very traditional RPG. And when I say traditional, there's classes, there's jobs, there's um, MP, obviously in this case is mental points, but there's MP, there's different aspects that come into play. And that takes it straight back to the original RPG route. Now, some people are like, oh my God, what's going on here? Well, this makes sense, but it does. It makes perfect sense. And for me, that's an RPG aficionado that loves a good turn-based RPG. This game, combined with stellar graphics, great turn based RPG, and almost ridiculous movesets. For example, one of the characters can belch fire. How does he do it? Drinks alcohol, spews it out a lighter, breathing fire. The same character, who's obviously the mage class, can summon pigeons to fight. Do you know what I mean? So there's, there's like a very almost realistic, almost over the top exaggerated feel with the way the characters and the moves are done, but it all aids to the the nice nature of the gameplay. I told you the two kind of sides of the coin. It's the very engrossing story, very engrossing voice acting, combined with almost over the top and ridiculous gameplay, but founded and grounded in some amazing turn-based RPG route. So the new party system is, is something that's brand new to this game, as you would have a you know, turn-based RPG. But it makes sense, you know, you're a Yakuza, you are, you are almost, a, you're a mafia, you're a mafia member, and you have started from rock bottom and you're rebuilding this family so this family becomes your party and that that party fights with you they ride with you they die with you do you know what i mean so it makes sense it's all just merged into one it doesn't seem ridiculous and far-fetched like they're all trying to achieve some goal they follow in ichiban because his personality is contagious and that's what i mean by this character ichiban is amazing off the bat so again the party system justified the turn-based rpg stars justified but then it goes beyond that. I feel like he actually does well to litter the game with um, mini um, RPG elements that are, you know, can be can be seen as pointless. But in this game, they tie it back to um, RPG um, aspects as character growth, character development, all of that. So my final thoughts on this game. This game is amazing. I could talk about this game forever and ever and ever. Now, and that's because of. The graphics, quality graphics all the way through, cutscenes, even through the standard gameplay, supported by an amazing story that interwoven with an amazing voice cast. And I mean, the voice acting in this game is something to behold. It is a quality game, amazing and immersive quality game indeed. Mm. Um, gameplay doesn't lack. The gameplay, especially new elements that they've added in, with the turn-based RPG style, the class slash job system, and um, the way they've stayed true to the original Yakuza elements with the interactable, um, interactive, interactable, interactive surroundings. Um, as you fight, you can pick these up and use them to um, damage enemies, which is great. Um, but the most important thing for me is how they combine the game play elements, the graphic elements, story elements, the voice actor elements to provide a seamless gameplay experience. All such big things, such a high quality game, has zero loading times between screens. I mean, very minimal loading times. I've gone from big old fight scenes and massive cut scenes between 30, 30 seconds to two minutes max. And that is ridiculous. For something that's playing and rendered for a PS4 Pro, that is playing on a PS4 Gen 1, as in like release month console, is doing well to make the most of its abilities. And I'm, it's just, 
it's delicious, you know, it's just mm, molto bene, bene la grazie. Do you know what I mean? It's great content. I love it. But if I'm to give you a final rating overall on the game, um, obviously it's an Insta Cup, it's a cop ability, it's a cop nation. And out of 10, I would give it no less than an 8 out of 10. That game is quality content through and through. Thank you again to Sega and Studio RGG for giving us the copy of the game, as well as Naysaga for allowing us to give us an early day review. Stay not tuned on Four Eyes Academia for more reviews. This has been me, your boy, La Prima La Prima La Praca, the one only El Show, El Show, and Ski, and I'm out.